I'm now going to mount the evaporator inside the cab. To do so, I'll first locate my evaporator template. I measured that the center line of the hole is going to be 40 inches from a common reference point that will be the same inside and outside of the truck, in this case the bottom of the side window. So what I'm now going to do is measure the same 40 inches from that uh, bottom of the window on the outside of the truck and run it around to the back of the cab where I will place my pilot hole. Use a two and three quarter inch hole saw to create a clearance hole for the evaporator refrigerant lines. Now that I have my hole saw, I'm going to use the template to cut away some of the upholstery where the self-drilling screws will go. This will keep the uh, interior fabric from getting caught in the self filling screws. I'm now going to use a small drill as a pilot to uh, go through the fabric and cardboard for my self drilling sheet metal screw holes and also my uh, touchscreen um, bracket holes. I'm now going to put the touchscreen base plate onto the upholster using the plastic rivets. Now that I have the upholstery loosened, I'll start running my cables. The evaporator to PMM cable will go out the main two and three quarter inch hole in the back. The radiant panel cable will come out this hole I drilled up here. The touchscreen cable will come out of this hole here. The blanket heater cable can just kind of fish out of the upholstery here. And the fuel fired heater cable will run down behind the upholstery to where the fuel fired heater is located. Once you have your cables pulled through the upholstery, it's time to install the evaporator. As you place the evaporator against the back of the cab wall, be sure to pull uh, the tension out of the cables. Attach the evaporator to the cab wall using four self-drilling sheet metal screws.
I've removed the louvers and the uh, grill guard so that I can attach the front cover using the four provided T25 Torx screws.